Hey guys, this is the online studio by Banjara School of Dance and today we're learning shimmies. First thing first, the important thing about the shimmy that people aren't going to tell you is that the shimmy actually comes from the knees and not from the hips. The movement in the knees is the action and what you see happening inside the hips is a reaction to what's happening in the knees. Of course, there are shimmies that involve the glute muscles and the oblique muscles, also vibration shimmies. But what we're covering today is the Egyptian shimmy, also referred to as the knee shimmy. To start, I would like you to sit on the floor. To start, I'd like you to find a steady momentum of your knee slapping against the floor. Keeping your feet flexed, what you want to do is get an action of the knee hitting against the floor at a steady momentum. You can try on the right side first and then switch to the left side. And try to pick up the pace to as fast as you can. The faster you go, the smaller the size will become. And then you want to alternate the two. When the right goes slightly off the floor, the left is on the floor. And when the left goes off the floor, the right stays on the floor. So we're going to alternate the knees in a steady momentum. Make sure not to lock the knees because that could, that could definitely damage your knees. Try to keep the momentum continuous. Make sure you get 5 to 10 minutes of practice on the floor before you stand up to do the same thing. Now making sure that we're not bending while we're standing, neither are the knees locked. You're only keeping the knees as straight as you would when you normally walk. Keeping them as neutral as possible. Using the knees alternating one after the other. My knees are what is creating the motion and not the hips. My hips are simply reacting to the knees. Trying to let the hips be relaxed, still keeping your tailbone tucked under, not over engaging the glute muscles and just letting the knees do the work. At first it's going to be a little rusty. It might be a little rusty but you don't want to stop. Decrease the momentum and then increase it back again. So decrease it, keep it slow, bring it up to a medium pace and then increase the speed. Now let's try our shimmies with music. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing your shimmies and don't forget to subscribe.